Hey babe, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Treasure, your new favorite mental health girly. Welcome babe. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos. back to episode three of living in alignment where we are talking about how to support our mental health with our physical health which i'm actually so excited to talk about just because i have started doing a few new things that have made a world of difference for my mental health but they are things that you also do for your physical health. Before we get into it, we are sitting in a new space today. I decided to sit on the floor when I was younger. I used to absolutely love sitting on the floor. So we are sitting on the floor today because I thought like, you know, switch it up a bit. But I also noticed that the lighting kind of seems a little bit overexposed and I was moving around a lot to try to figure out like how to get the lighting better so I'm sorry in advance if that is bothering you. I will try to figure that out for the next video but without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into it. So one thing that I have said multiple times before is that your mental health is just as important as your physical health and there are a lot of things that people talk about or do for your physical health and while they are all really good things and yes they are good for your physical health people don't really talk about how to incorporate your mental health into those same actions. So for example, if you are somebody who works out five days a week, you eat right, yes, that is supporting your physical health. But if you were not being intentional with incorporating doing those things for your mental health, it may not necessarily be helping your mental health. So for example, if you have hardcore workouts, you are fit, you're probably really energized, all of those things. Great. Love that for you. But let's say you are doing these workouts and you are feeling mentally drained. You are feeling like, oh my gosh, I hate doing this. I don't want to do this. I'm doing it because I want to look good or I have certain goals that I want to be fit. That's not good for your mental health. I'm not saying don't work out. I'm not saying you should lessen the amount of workouts that you're doing. I'm not even saying that you should change the workouts that you're doing. What I'm saying is to be intentional with the things that you are doing for your physical health to also incorporate your mental health. And there are two very simple steps that you can do to make this happen. Like I said before, taking care of your mental health, short, sweet, simple, we love that. It doesn't need to be overcomplicated. So the first thing is to move your body how best it works for you. I have been trying to lose weight, get fit, because I am so out of shape. So when I do workouts, yes, I am working out for my physical health because I have goals for my body. But I need to also incorporate my mental health because that is so important for me to stay consistent with working out. Now, first let me say that being physical releases happy endorphins. So it makes you feel good when you work out because it's releasing those endorphins in your brain. But to stay consistent with me personally, if I am not enjoying the workout, I'm not going to do it. Plain and simple, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to struggle with trying to stay consistent and it's just going to be an uphill battle, which is why I am still in the same place that I've been for the past two years trying to get myself fit because I cannot stay consistent because I don't like working out. It does not make me feel good. But doing the simple shift that I've been doing recently to incorporate my mental health with me working out has made the biggest difference. So I started going on walks. Now, people say that if you just walk, you can lose weight, but it's not, I guess, the quickest way for you to lose weight. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a fitness coach, but 
it's not something that I think would be necessarily suggested as a weight loss workout. But I have come to find that I actually enjoy walking. It does something for my mental health. I love to walk because when I'm walking, I am not thinking about anything. I'm not thinking about things I have to get done. I'm not thinking about people that I have to help. I'm not thinking about problems that are happening in my life or friction that's happening in my life. I am simply enjoying the view of nature that God has blessed us with. I am getting the fresh air, the sun, the breeze, and it feels so good mentally. It feels so good that I don't even realize that I'm walking for so long. For the past two weeks, I have been going on three and a half mile walks, not even realizing that I'm walking that, that, that many miles. I'm just walking because it feels good. Now, obviously, if I'm walking that many miles, I'm going to see a difference physically, but mostly it affects my mental health. So. When you are working out for your mental health versus your physical health, you are not concerned with the physical aspect of it. You are not putting goals on yourself of, I have to lose this amount of pounds, I have to get down to this size, I have to, you know, look this specific way as far as, you know, body shape. You are concerned solely on how it makes you feel when you are doing these workouts. So if you are somebody that likes to go to the gym and walk on a treadmill, that brings you joy, that's going to be something you do for your mental health. Now obviously in turn, your physical health is going to be affected. That is the difference between working out for your mental health versus your physical health. Now that I have established that I actually enjoy walking, it is not hard for me to get up and go for a walk. With the exception of, of course, if I'm not feeling in that day or if I have a migraine or whatever could possibly be happening. But it is not from lack of motivation. It is not from, ugh, I really don't feel like going on a walk today. Because mentally, I actually enjoy the walk. So if I want to, let's say, amp up my workouts because now I want to focus more on my physical health, I'm still gonna go on my walk because that is for my mental health, but maybe I'll add a workout in where I'm doing a specific workout routine. That's for my physical health. Now I've got two different workouts that are good for my mental health and good for my physical health, and I'm taking care of my body. It sounds so simple. I promise it is exactly as simple as it sounds. This does not need to be overcomplicated. Whatever workout that you enjoy not what's going to make you lose the most weight not what's going to make you the most fit what you enjoy doing that makes you feel good is what you do to work out for your mental health if it's yoga if it's stretching if it's walking if it's running if working out simply doing workout routine makes you feel good mentally that counts you're doing double duty Whatever workout that you do and it makes you feel good mentally, those are the things that you are going to do to help your mental health. That obviously in turn will help your physical health and that is how you are aligning the two. The second thing is eating healthy because something that I learned after going through depression is that the food that you eat actually affects your mental health. I had no idea that food can affect your mental health. I know obviously that it can affect your, your physical health, but I had no idea that it had such a huge impact on your mental health as it does. And pre-depression, I, babe, the most unhealthy eater you could probably possibly imagine. Like, I didn't eat healthy at all. Like, I actually would run from healthy food because I liked McDonald's french fries and you can't get them out of my hand. I love McDonald's chicken nuggets. You can't make me not eat them. After depression and after understanding how much food can affect your mental health, I definitely feel like I am a lot more conscious of the things that I'm eating. 
don't get me wrong i still eat things that i probably should not eat because it is a process but i am a lot more intentional with the choices that i'm making now i'll think twice do you really need to eat those fries from mcdonald's or can you eat a salad and it doesn't necessarily even need to be boring food like eating healthy doesn't have to be boring it can be good food it's just making healthier choices so being more intentional with the things that you put into your body is also going to help your mental health you don't have to restrict yourself from the things that you like i think all things are good in moderation me personally i love chocolate i'm probably never going to give chocolate up but i don't need to be eating chocolate every single day if i really want something sweet if i want a piece of cake or i want a cupcake or i want a donut i'm not going to deprive myself of those things because i'm trying to be healthier i am going to allow myself to have those things in moderation you don't need to eat two donuts you can have one maybe have half of a donut maybe don't eat five cookies eat two making different choices doesn't necessarily mean you have to cut things out of your diet completely because personally i don't think that's a way to live to deprive yourself of the things that you know you enjoy having but i do think that we can make more of a conscious choice and be intentional with the things that we're eating and doing certain things in moderation if it's something you feel that you can give up give it up if it's something that you're like absolutely not i love this too much can't do it do it in moderation don't do it all the time now doing those two simple easy things is definitely going to help you align your physical health with your mental health because if you are eating healthy you are obviously affecting your physical health one of the biggest things with weight loss people say that getting up to work out is the hardest part or you probably heard that getting up to work out is the hardest part but actually in doing research the hardest part of losing weight is the eating it's the eating healthy it's the making sure that the things that you're eating are aligned with what you're actually trying to do with your body whether you're trying to lose weight or bulk up or get thicker whatever it is the things that you eat affect what happens when you're working out it's the two together that get you the final outcome of whatever it is that you or your body goals are so making sure that you are combining working out for your mental health eating for your mental health working out for your physical health and eating for your physical health are going to be a game changer for you when you are able to figure out what the balance between the two is because it's all about balance and finding the balance that works for you because everything doesn't work for every one be patient with yourself and know that it is all a process it is not about perfection it is about intention you got this babe thank you so much for watching this video in the next episode well the last episode of this series we are going to be talking about how to align your relationships with your mental health because i think it is so important when you are taking care of your mental health there's a lot of internal things that you're doing but it is also very important to make sure that you are incorporating mental health choices with your interaction with the outside world. So we'll be getting into that and I will see you guys in the next episode. Love you babe.